I ain't gonna lie to you. The Democratic Party might want to just call it a rap early because it's not looking good. More and more rappers and black people in general are coming out in support of Trump. Tussie said he's rocking with Trump 2024. I don't know if he still raps, but hey. And then you got Benny the Butcher. He rocked with Trump. We all know Kodak and Kanye love Trump. At some point, 50 Cent said he vote for Trump when he saw how badly Biden was fitting to um, tax him until Ch- Chelsea Handler offered her body to him. It's crazy. Hell, even YG, whose biggest hit, or one of his biggest hit, was F. Donald Trump. He came out and said pretty much the hood rocks with Trump. Tariq Nasheed, the biggest race hustler known to mankind ever since Al Sharpton, has said that Donald Trump was growing on him. The man who thinks literally everyone is a suspected white supremacist, nah, this is bad. It's not stopping either. It's like every month a new rap nigga or prominent black person admits that they like Trump. And the newest one is shocking. My good friend, Sexy Red, who I've never met, but we're pretty good friends, I think. Most known for her iconic lines such as my coochie pink, my mm-mm brown, Miss Key herself has come out as a Trump supporter. This one is my favorite one yet because it's funny to watch these females and occasionally males who defended everything Sexy Red said and did, but now want to draw the line. She could use her phones to promote promiscuity amongst the black female community. Her pulling up to high schools. They even defended elementary teachers remixing her songs to teach the little kids. She's had she's um she can use her influence on kids to peddle actual harmful behavior and they're okay with it. But when her influence could possibly get some of her fans to vote Trump is when they draw the line. Please don't tell me what's best for the black community when you've actively supported Sexy Red and other artists who have done more damage to the black community than any bill that Congress could possibly pass. Has Trump supporting the black community increase? Definitely has. How do I know? Well, I'm mostly just gauging based off of my own family and friends. When I see certain family members who hated Trump in 2016 and were disgusted that people actually voted for him, they're now borderline Trump supporters, and I use that term lightly. Yeah, I think things have changed quite a bit, and it doesn't surprise me at all. They say Trump might pull 20% of the black vote, which is an insane number, if I'm not mistaken. Trump did like 6% in 2016, which was considered good for a Republican. To think that he more than tripled that is insane, but I just wouldn't be surprised. What triggered this? Well, there's probably a few factors, but I think the biggest one is definitely the fact that Biden sucks. Niggas got tired of Biden after his first year in office. Inflation going crazy. Housing and rent out of control. And we're closer to World War III than we have been in a long, long time. I really can't blame black people. And neither should you. Trump offered us the platinum plan for black people. Instead, Biden gave us the gold plan for Ukraine. I'm not for reparations at least, but... Or at least not, you know, a meaningless form of reparations. But I, I can't blame black people for being frustrated. All that money y'all wasting on another country while we struggle? Shit, crazy. Every day, I get, every, every day I get online, I see some crazy shit. Russia teaming up with China, challenging the U.S. dollar, Russia entering the arms deal with North Korea. Like, am I tripping or niggas forming a league of villains to deal with the U.S.? I'm just saying, if Trump was in office, niggas would, would, niggas would be acting different. I'm just saying that. Bro smoked the leader of ISIS, the number one op to America, and then got on TV and pretty much told him to get it back in blood. I'm not going to lie to you. Trump liked that. My president said, he said he said he went out sad, crying and shit. And guess what? Them niggas never got, they never got their get back. Trump was in the White House sending niggas pictures of their crib, daring them to play with them. I know niggas remember when Kim Jong-un kept threatening the U.S. with nukes and Trump told him they ain't stop making nukes when they made joy stop playing with us and then pulled up to North Korea dolo. Trump is the most gangster president of modern era and black people respect that. He sent ISIS into hiding. Them niggas are picking around the corner when they heard Biden was in charge. Talking about is the coast clear. Trump had them boys shook. I'm just saying if Trump was president... Kim and Putin would be acting different because they know his body. Black people are looking back like, damn, Trump really Trump really was funny. And life was better back then. He freed Kodak and Wayne. 
got ASAP Rocky home save, did the first step act, and he came through with um, some stimulus checks. And I don't want to hear y'all say, is that all it takes to get your support when Biden and Kamala hasn't done anything for blacks besides lock them up for smoking weed? I'm looking at you, Kamala. As far as I'm concerned, it's Trump 2024. I don't want to hear y'all try and guilt trip me or call me any kind of derogatory names. If you want my vote, pay for all the inflation, rent increases, energy and gas increases that have happened since 2018. Plus, I need a nuclear bunker stocked with food, and then y'all can have my vote. Until then, unfortunately, I'm going to have to rock with the Donald.